and welcome to my Count of Cross Stitch channel. My name is Amanda May and this is Floss Tube Special Nashville Edition. Dun, dun, dun. It is February 16th, 2022. It's my birthday month. It's my daughter's birthday month. I just celebrated Valentine's Day because it's amazing. Self-love, self-care, all the things that are available and best for you. All that good stuff. I'm rambling. I'm so excited. Okay. If you're watching this, I'm so happy. Uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. So today is a special, I got my Nashville shirt on, Nashville edition of Counted Cross Stitch Floss Tube. Wondering what Nashville is? It is a wholesale needlework market here in the United States. It's considered the largest needlework market here in the United States and that specializes in counted cross stitch. So I'm not talking about quilt con or any like big textile quilting type stuff. This is special like counted thread stuff. So they have a national needlework market. There's dyers and purveyors of um, uh, needle point, needlework counted cross stitch drawn thread like Hardanger, uh, people doing threads and all, all this stuff, all the things, right? <laughs> so I have been wanting to do Nashville for a couple years and I have two small kids. I have a six-year-old, almost seven-year-old, oh my gosh, and I have a four-year-old. So the uh, ability to do Nashville has not been there for me because I've had young children and people have asked me as a business owner, Amanda May, if this is such a big deal, why haven't you gone before? Well, there wasn't a, an event last year for 2021. 2020, I was wearing my shirt, living vicariously through all of those that did attend market, but I had had gallbladder surgery, literally, and then I was recovering from surgery while watching floss tubes. So this has been my first available opportunity to go to Nashville. Needlework retailer in conjunction with Yarn Tree puts on the event. They reached out to me just a couple months ago. A slot had opened up because I had put in a request. I submitted a request to be, to let, you know, to go on the waiting list basically. And because I really feel that you miss 100% of the shots that you do not take. That is a quote from Wayne Gretzky, who was a ice hockey player. Have I ever been on ice skates? No. Have I ever been ice skating? No. Have I done anything ever on the ice besides slip and fall? No, <laughs> the only ice skate rink I've ever been to was watching Disney on ice in San Jose, the San Jose Shark Hockey Arena back in the late 1990s. Wow. Okay, I digress, but you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So when Megan from Needlework Retailer called and asked me if I wanted to participate, I didn't hesitate. I said yes, got off the phone, had that anxious shakes, told my husband that I made a unilateral decision that I'm going to Nashville. And he's like, yay! And I'm like, yay! And then the pugs see me jumping around and they're like, yay! All the things, right? Well, that meant it was time for me to hightail my B-U-T-T -T in gear and get ready for the Nashville needlework market. If you're familiar with my work, hi, Artist Design, I, that's the design I uh, name I design under. I have some books on Amazon that I have like notebooks, inventory trackers, and my Stitching Love and Kindness book specializing like more in Valentine's Day lovey-dovey stuff I put out on Amazon. But most of my patterns primarily have been all PDF digital downloads. Why you say? Well, the ability to print and do distributing and do all that stuff I was unable to do with very, very small children. But now my son is getting a little older and he's allowing me time to do things like go to the bathroom by myself and design cross stitch and, you know, package charts without him. <laughs> well, Disney Plus is still on in the background, but you know what? Mom life. So <laughs> I am here uh, rambling close to five minutes, but I am here to talk about my new releases for Nashville. Woo! So I will have all of my works in progress, stitching updates, stitching news, all of that in the next episode. But join me as we talk all things new releases. Disclaimer, these are all fully finished objects. 
all fully finished by me. <sighs> all right, here we go. I have four individual cross stitch releases for this market, plus, plus a book. So I'm going to talk about the four individual releases first, and then we'll talk about the book, okay? Okay, I got a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Alrighty. May I present my first release? This is Boobies. Yes, this is my little Nashville booby. That's the name of the pattern, Nashville booby. She is a little Halloween loving lady and she's going on down south to Nashville. And she's a little cowgirl. She's got a little cowgirl costume on and she is ready to partake in Southern charm and buzz around, busy as a bee. <laughs> so, uh, this is a chart inspired by first I, my Boo Bees Apiary that I put out a couple years ago. Uh, in honor of Boo Bees Apiary, I wanted to go from the award-winning boobies, the two-dimensional piece, to a three-dimensional representation of a booby. You can change out the colors of her outfit. She doesn't have to be pink. You can do her in the traditional Halloween colors. But I found these little hats. I couldn't resist. Her outfit is all coordinated around that. So I'm gonna have the pattern, but I'm also gonna have the like little accessory kit. And so in the directions for the pattern, you're going to get directions on how to make her tutu. And then I've got the the felt. This is polyester felt, not wool felt, round, and then her little hat. So I'll show you real fast. She does have perforated paper shoes. And then on the back is a wool felt, a raspberry wool felt. Again, you don't have to do that, but I'll have all the directions on how to make this with the dangles and the tutu. Her little hat comes off. She's three-dimensional. And then... I will have her wing pattern so you can cut out and add her wings. I used just a, a, a like straight pin and pinned it right in. I had wanted, I thought about making perforated paper wings, but I felt like this was great. And then you can kind of customize her as you wish. I have directions on how to add her arms and legs. Yes, she has one, two, three, four, five, six, because she's a little bee wearing her little Halloween jack-o'-lantern mask and she is ready to buzz around. Yay! So she is stitched on a 16 count Ada and it's a yellow Ada. It's super fun and it's the same color Ada that I used for my second release I'm about to show you. But this is a uh, Nashville booby. If you really enjoyed, um, I one of my patterns is the little turkey which is around three-dimensional turkey because why not? Now you can have a little Halloween honeybee too. Ah! So here's number one, my little release. And oh my gosh, I love her so much. It's so fun holding her. I just, I set her on top of um, just a, a little thing of buttons, but she's set down there. And I have all the finishing directions on how to finish her. Don't be scared. Don't be intimidated. Okay. All right. I want to set her down. Ah. Okay. I got so much stuff. I got to like move around. Okay. My next release is Count the Creamers. This was modeled stitch by a wonderful stitchy friend named Deborah. Thank you, Deborah. So this is stitched on a Silk Weaver Midas Plus 32 count linen. And I finished it in the bendy stitchy method of finishing. And it is finished in a cast iron six inch square iron trivet. Finished again with the antique bead and all the things. I This is part of... Okay, it's a hybrid. So <laughs> last year I released a smaller smaller edition of this chart, smaller, more compact for uh, the the Moo the Merrier collaboration with the other some other cross stitch designers. 
and I decided to expand upon it and make it larger and Deborah stitched it for me. So this is a standalone chart, not with the Moo the Merrier, but if that makes sense. So if you think you've seen it before, you probably have, but this is new updated and this is along the lines of my series. I have count the cups, count the saucers, count the pens, and now count the creamers. So there's now four in the little, the petite red sampler series, petite red sampler series. I am going to be taking all four of the models and I'll have the charts available at Nashville. So you can tell your local needle workshop or online needle workshop that you would like the whole series, all four of the petite <laughs> red sampler series. So that is my second release and I love it. Again, you don't have to finish it in a trivet, but why not think of unconventional cross stitch finishes? You can again, put it just in a square frame and be stuck out. Okay, the next release I have is <laughs> my boot. It's a boot time to show you my boot. Okay. I put it up on one of those uh, vintage spoon holders. I hung it uh, using a little honey thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. This is my third release. And it is the Beehive Boot, and it's a cowboy boot. So when I first thought about going down to Nashville, my first thought was boobies, because <laughs> why not, right? <laughs> and then my second thought was cowboy boots. And yes, cowboys exist like all around the world. There are cow, you know, uh, all over the United States, cowboy boots are are awesome. So I'm not saying that it's just a southern thing. Okay, so. <laughs> Um, but I have been playing around with the idea of a cowboy boot stocking for a while. I actually stitched it like in prototyped a couple boots and I think I might start, I might make a series of boots because I decided I love little boots. They're so fun. <laughs> so, okay. This is stitched on a 16 count yellow Witchell <laughs> Ada. Uh, and I'll have all the pattern specs, all this stuff, you know, more blah, blah, blah. Okay. I stitched it with one strand of Wonder Fill, Wonder Fill, instead of full, like F-U-L, it's fill, F-I-L, fill, spaghetti. The spaghetti is spelled without the H, sans H. It's a Canadian company, Wonderful Threads. It's based in Canada, but they have offices, locations all around the world, um, Australia, New Zealand, United States. So Wonderful is an international company. I have been working with Wonderful now for, oh my gosh, like almost a year. And it's so exciting. I, and when I say work with, I mean, like, I'm not an employee of theirs. I am a happy cross stitch designer, eager to use their products and they are eager to assist me and they've been just lovely. So this is their version of the 12 weight cotton thread. So I've done work in the past with Sulky and I continue to stitch with Sulky threads, but I have been really enjoying stitching with one strand instead of two strands of cotton. And so the 12 weight thread allows me to do that. And they have super bright colors, like very vivid, bright, like a bright color palette. So I do offer the conversion to DMC for this palette. So you don't have to go out and like buy all new spools of thread and all that stuff. So, but this is all stitched with one strand. I got the beehive. Um, oh, beehive, darling. I'm not just full. I'm, can you tell I'm excited to do this video? <laughs> Okay, so it's got uh, flowers and the pumpkins and the bees. So it's kind of, I know it's a lot, but I love it. I, I'm a maximalist. I believe more is more. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I was like, you need a flower. You need a flower. Okay. I finished this as a stocking and I used my fabric that I had uh, printed by, via spoon flower. So this is my design, the fabric. And I made it into a stocking and it's a fully functioning stocking. It's and even if you want to, so I put little flowers in, but you could put something and then hang it, you know, all the good things. So that is my third. And then I'm going to insert 
some pictures of my fourth finish or my fourth <laughs> my fourth release uh, because I took that down to um, the space where I have they're carrying my products down at downtown Mount Airy at Mount Airy Commons. They have my models for the all four of the Chesapeake Bay Treasure Series. So it started out with Maryland Blue Crab, then it went to Blue Heron, and then it went to three, it went to Island Ponies for the Wild Horses, um, Virginia, Maryland, the Wild Horses. And the fourth is Tundra Swan. Tundra Swans. Tundra swans are not indigenous to the area, the Chesapeake Bay region, but they do overwinter in the region, which means that they go from up north, tundra, like up north, and they come down and they have their snowbird, like how many of, like people go to Florida for summer, like for the winter to be warm. They just go to Maryland and I'm freezing. It's like, I woke up yesterday, it was 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, it's so cold. And they're out there basking like, yeah, this is nice water. I'm good. So... <laughs> tundra swans over winter they vacation here in the winter hey what would they be considered a snowbird if they're from north are they snowbirding here i don't know but they're adorable tundra swans and that's gonna be at market okay so those are the four individual releases i have and now dun, 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 dun. you can probably see some of this goodies in the background <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Here is my brand new book. It is a rainbow of threads and garden beds, projects in counted cross stitch, punch needle embroidery, and wool applique. <sighs> I know. If you wonder why I haven't been posting very much on social media, like where did Amanda May go? <sighs> Y'all, writing, designing, stitching, fully finishing, modeling, formatting, and being a publisher is hard. But I'm so happy I did it and I hope you like my book. So this is 74 pages. I have 12 projects in here. Don't be scared. Don't be intimidated. I have, I don't know. I think they're awesome projects. So if you've never done wool applique or punch needle before, I do give finishing instructions on how to do that and the method that I use for wool applique and for punch needle. I've had some awesome feedback from y'all about punch needle embroidery using thread rather than yarn. Punch Needle is making a resurgence. If you look on Instagram, uh, you know, Punch Needle is back too. But people are, 98% of people are punch needling with yarn and not with thread. I am a huge, I love, I mean, I love stabbing with thread, okay, not with yarn. But do what you gotta do if you, to make beautiful things. Okay, I'm featuring, this is got, this is Lady.Creates Great fizz, chenille trim, and my dogs are like going, Amanda May, why are we not in the video? Okay, hold please. Hi friends, I'm back. I had to go, well, my daughter came home from school, so <laughs> I had to take a little bit of a break. I'm so excited. So this is my book. It's 74 pages and I've got projects in different mediums. I had a wonderful conversation with Kathy. She is the owner of the Primitive Homespun uh, Wool and Needlework down in downtown Frederick. I credit, I list her website and stuff in the book, but Kathy had said to me that she'll have people coming into her shop that don't do counted cross stitch, but love the look and they wish that they could do it in their chosen medium, which is like wool applique or punch needle. Or I hear, or she hears people who love to punch needle, but want to start cross stitching have a punch needle pattern and wish it was in cross stitch. I've also heard since 2020, a lot of people are coming into cross stitch. You know, it's making a resurgence. Additionally, people <laughs> who have been cross stitching for a long time are now branching out and learning other forms of, you know, crafts and goodness, like learning how to punch needle or learning how to what? Well, okay, like me. Hi. <laughs> so I... I wanted to have this book be, it's primarily cross stitch, but it does have crossover projects. And so I'm gonna show you all of those projects right now. So I do have, it's in color. I got patterns. The historic sampler I'm about to show you uh, is kind of the, the start of it all. Uh, back in 
2020, I did the Be Well and Stitch, and I made a boobies bell pole, the spring bell pole for Be Well and Stitch. And it was a freebie chart, and it had a, like rainbows, and all the rainbows. You know, my favorite color is rainbow. <laughs> anyway, I had purchased a historic sampler, which I'm going to show you right now. And I, she came all wadded up and wrinkled, but it, she had had previous pin marks like where she had been pinned down. So this is a historic sampler. I purchased her a couple years ago and she has been sitting and I've been wanting to work with her for a long time. So I decided, you know what, let's do this. <laughs> so I charted it. I, all the backside thread, the threads on the backside. So this is a wool and silk cross stitch sampler. This only silk component that is here is the, the name here and it's stitched in silk. Everything else is wool. I tried my best given supply chain issues to match the fabric as best I could. And I did, I, I did a really good job if I do say so myself on matching the colors of the sampler. And here she is. This is Miss Eliza Eleanor a ball hatch sampler. She is stitched on a 32 count linen using one strand of, of thread over two linen strands. This was lovingly, meticulously, and quickly stitched by Deborah. Thank you so much, Deborah, for stitching Miss Eliza B for me. We call her Miss Eliza B. <laughs> um, and I just love her so much. So I, I do call this a sampler adaptation because the original sampler is stitched on a 30 count linen and I chose a 32 count linen here. So number one, the size is different. Number two, I stayed true to the colors on the whole sampler, except down here, the carnation border. I did use my artistic license and integrated more color into the carnation border than is in the original. But the centerpiece, these, this is like 100% red, <laughs> the same. but I did do some artistic license on the border and the size of the linen. Therefore, this is not a true reproduction. This is a sampler adaptation. For the purists at heart that say, you know, they want to stitch it exactly as it comes, I do, I do put in the book the charting of her name here. For my adaptation, I left it blank so that you could think about what you might want to add. In the book, I do give an option. I, I give an alphabet, numbers, and I also have it say love you 2022 here as an idea of what you could put inside of it. I also encourage you if you like, you could do a small wool applique motif and stick it in the middle or a picture photograph that you stitch down, make this your own. What I love about this piece is it's so vibrant, it's bright, it's got the rainbow. So it asked in the original here, I just love this rainbow. So if you see here, it looks pretty faded, but on the back side, it's very vibrant. And so that's the colors here. This is Alana thread. It's a combination. It's a wool acrylic blend thread, and it comes on a 70 yard spool. There are 18 colors in the sampler. And I spoke with Wonderful. They created a thread pack for me. It is being shipped as we speak, so I don't have it in person to show you, but I sent out an email to shops with all the information on the thread pack if it's something that you are interested in, if you wanna stitch it exactly as it is here in the book. This, um, I have it all charted and it's all in color, but the symbols are easy to read. It's on the eight and a half by 11 paper. And uh, I just love it so much. It's So it's uh, 300 stitches high by 300 stitches wide. So 300 by 300. I wanted to show you here in a few minutes that I, I use the exact same footprint for both samplers. And I had a custom mat made at Michael's. 
a custom size. And then I have, I, I framed it myself. I'll show you the frame here in just a minute. If you wondered why this one isn't framed, it's because I wanted to show you the frame. Came into the craft section for them to cut me a custom piece of 21 inch uh, by 21 inch foam core board. So just to let you know, this they have this in the section here and it's a nice like large piece. It looks like it's at least 30 inches across. That's their standard foam core that they can cut down and they told me it was $2 per cut. So this one, it's $6.99 for this big piece of foam core board. So I'm hoping that helps somebody if they are shopping at this store. All right. I really wanted to do a project that focused the, on all the things, okay? So I made my very, I made this wall hanging and this is in the book. And instructions, patterns, everything is in the book. We have wool applique here. Wool applique. We've got cross stitch. We have punch needle embroidery and wool applique on, on the linen. Cross stitch, wool applique, wool applique. Uh, the mirror image here. These are punch needle and I will show you these in another project here in just a minute. And then here is the central motif from the historic sampler stitched on R&R &R reproductions, Liberty Gathering Gray using sulky 12 weight cotton floss. This gentle arts here, there's beadwork incorporated here and stitching the beadwork, all beadwork is all listed. Mill Hill beads used in the whole project throughout the book. This green wool is from Primitive Homespun and Needleworks, but all of these, the wools and the remaining wools are all part of the Wonder Fill Solid Wood Fabric Collection. And I have all of the colors listed, everything already enlisted. So you saw there's nine squares in that wool hanging. You can do just them smaller and incorporate them like into little pillows. So here, this is a similar butterfly, but not the exact, so an adaptation. Stitched on 32 count Wichelt Laurel linen. And so there's Laurel, Prairie Grain, and Riviera Olive used as the green linens in this project. So the patterns for these are there and the other ones. And then I have this project in the book. Why not make yourself a little bouquet of punch needle flowers? So I give the, the directions and the pattern and everything to make those. So I took two of those buds from here from the, from the bouquet and put them on the wall hanging. So we've got that. Next project is a using the rainbow is a table runner and this is a quick quilting project using white chenille yarn wool applique and quilting. So fun. I hand stitched the the rainbow wool applique one here and I'll show you that in a minute. The other two, this one and the wall hanging I did, it was machine stitched. Okay, these are the wools. As you can see, these are the ones that I actually used. So these are, and I have all of the numbers, everything listed uh, for all the wools. And they're awesome. Okay. I have a little save the stitches segment two in the book. So using the scraps, like your jar of scraps. Using, using everything. These are the scraps left from the book, the whole book that I didn't make into little flower pins. So that's these right here. I also made little flower pins, the little, and with wool and punch needle. I finished this in a antique thimble cross stitch. This is a needle and thread garden bed. I give the, the all the directions to make this project pouch or needle project book so you can put your stuff like 
your thread pack. This is Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers. She did a spun silk thread pack, also available limited quantities at market for skydiving chicks that I got to show you, but uh, making this so it fit in, use the wools, it can put scissors, So I give the directions and all the specs on how to make this, or if you wanted and you didn't want to make it into a project pouch and you just want to do the stitching, awesome. This is stitched with Sulky, one strand of Sulky over two linen threads. I love this palette. This is the first project that I worked on a couple years ago. This book has been in the works now for two years, since April of 2020, almost two years. Oh my gosh. It's like, you know, birthing a book baby. Okay. Anyway, so needle and thread garden bed. It's literally getting dark out. I've been talking so much. Okay. So here is skydiving chick sampler. She is stit. They are, there's more than one chick here. There's one, two, three, four in a basket here. How many are in there? I wonder. Uh, <laughs> they're parachuting skydiving. I just, I love it. So they have, she's got her little bunny safety helmet on very bright vibrant neon colors love them this is finished in a standard eight by eight inch frame it's mounted uh, it's got scrapbook paper i've got all the details in the book stitched one strand of spun silk over two linen threads on a 32 count opal white witchell linen and who doesn't love some daring skydiving chicks you also get the project to make her into a mobile here and or if you don't want to make her into a mobile you can make her into the egg and I have the egg pattern included if you don't want to make her into this and also if you want to just make a hanging rainbow mobile here um this is all hand stitched it's all accented with the glamour 7126 thread and all the beads all listed this is a silk weaver's deep caribbean 28 count cashel linen stitched with the same palette and oh my gosh so and i put it she's hanging i just love the idea of cro a cross stitch mobile and you're never too old to enjoy beautiful fun little things okay life's too short not to have more rainbows in your life the parrots i this is wool applique it's finished in a standard 11 by 14 inch frame wool applique all wool all the time based on the parrots in the sampler. So you've got parrots and cross stitch, parrots and wool applique, but wait, there's more. I even made stand up punch needle parrots here. So uh, here they are, and they are using the same Alana threads, the same colors uh, from the sampler to do the punch needle finished and I give all the instructions all the everything how to make the feet and they stand up all the stuff ah the last project in the book is the spindle garden bed piece so this was the piece that inspired the name of my book uh rainbow of threads rainbow and garden beds the spool the little spool bed this is a tiny little cross stitch here it is finished around with the grape fizz chenille trim and it to look like the like the bedspreads like mid-century bedspreads I give the directions on how to make this little container like where you can put you can put like your scissors or something and put it in so this is the garden beds and this is called um mini lilac garden and it's a typography, so it grow, word, plant, seed, all of that in there. So count a cross stitch. Yay! So that is the book. Oh, I hope you all like it. I oh my gosh. So there are plenty of projects to keep you busy for, you know, until next year's market. <laughs> I would love it if you placed an order. You can pre-order or place an order with your local needle workshop, online needle workshop. I would be so grateful. Uh, support the needlework industry, right? <laughs> so thank you. And then I want to show you this frame and then we're going to, we're going to talk about something else and then we're going to skedaddle. Okay. I want to show 
this really fast. So this is just a standard frame. This is from Poster Palooza. It's a, well, it's not, it's a 21 inch square frame. It's the exact frame that I used here. I'm going to use it to frame this and this will be at Nashville framed. This is just a plexiglass. I will remove the plexiglass. Okay. It's got the back. I'll use a, just a flat head, flat head screwdriver and open up all of these. And then I can frame, I'll put the 21 inch and it'll go right in. Okay. And then you use your Logan point driver. So Stephanie Webb of Lindy Stitches told me about this point driver and it's been amazing. So, and then I'll use that to go ahead and secure it down in the back. So you can stitch huge samplers and frame them yourself, okay? Don't be nervous, you can do it. Thank you all, I have a giveaway. All right, standard giveaway rules apply. Don't say giveaway. This is not endorsed or sponsored in any way, shape, or form by YouTube, Google, no, um, no, nobody, nobody. Uh, I am not affiliated with this company in any way except that the fact that I love it and I gave them a lot of money for these things. <laughs> I, I, I bought, I, I bought stuff. Okay, so the giveaway. <laughs> Can you tell I'm rusty on this? Uh, open United States only. I'm sorry. I love all of you international stitchers. You all are amazing. Just shipping is really hard so hard so us only you've got to be over 18 to legally give me your mailing address and what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a bag from me yeah i got some custom bags made these are reserved for the shop the people going physically to nashville need to work market who buy like a minimum amount from me their bag their order will be put in one of these bags but I pulled one bag a bag aside to use as a giveaway on my channel. So let me show you this. So I went to college in Northern California. Uh, the same time that I was in college, this company had just started up. I have their first generation bag. It's a Chico bag. I have their first generation bag. I don't even want to tell you when I graduated college. It's been a while. The bag still lasts. When I thought about sustainable stitching and what I can do as a little step to support sustainable stitching and sustainable stuff at market, my first thought was reusable bags. And so I had these custom made and designed. So let me show you. So for this giveaway, you are gonna get this bag and then I'm gonna put goodies, like a souvenir. You're gonna get something, at least one thing in this bag and I'm gonna mail it to you if you win, okay? So the bag opens up. This is a Chico bag Vita bag. This is my Vita bag. I had them print. I made a custom motif. It's uh, part of my Chesapeake Bay treasure series and I used that to inspire my design. Blue, blue water. We need blue, clean water, sustainable stitching, Chesapeake Bay treasure series. Here we go, artist design. So I will fill You'll get at least one item plus the bag. <laughs> oh, I love y'all so much. Look, look at how much stuff you're going to be able to carry in that. Oh, so the key word, you, you got to use oh, two words. You got to use it in a sentence. Okay. The two words are honey, bunny, honey, H O N E Y honey. Next word, bunny, B U N and why honey bunny use it in a sentence win a bag and it's something from nashville yay okay thank you all for hanging out with me i will be back uh for a regular floss tube episode sometime i don't know my birthday is next week i got i got so much stitching i got other stuff to show you so i gotta come back before nashville so, um, but the, the giveaway will be open until, um, the, the week after the week of Nashville. So Nashville is March 4th through the 6th. So the giveaway will go until, um, March 7th, 2022. I'm going to shut off comments as of March 7th and draw a winner. Okay. Honey, bunny, garden beds, all those things. Uh, I love you so much. Please know that I love you. My love is infinite. 
send out all the love, right? <laughs> please know that you matter. Your stitching matters. I appreciate you. And I hope that you have a beautiful week. However, that whatever that means for you. Love you.